Why did you, a few days ago, decide to go public with your story? He said the allegations were patently false against him. Uh, I knew otherwise. I knew what kind of guy he was. He said he would help me. He was wanted to help me. And I thought, wow, he's going to be a mentor for me. And I said, you know, I will go up and meet with you at, in your office, uh, but you are not allowed to touch me. And he said, ah, ha, ha, he kind of laughed it off. And uh, he shook my hand, though, and he said, I, I won't. He invited me to a business meeting that we were supposed to talk about career stuff. And we were supposed to meet in the lobby. and. When I got there, he wasn't there. He called me and asked me to come to his room, which I was um, very hesitant about. He invited me to a movie that night. I thought it was a screening, but it was in fact just a movie. And I was just there with Harvey at the movies. Um, I felt really uncomfortable. I tried to sort of skirt out of it afterwards, but he wanted me to stop by his apartment with him quickly while he ran up to get something. I showed up at the restaurant and it was just her. She then led me up to a room. She said uh, his meeting's going over, so let's just go up to the room. We talked about my movie and, and everything was seemingly normal. At first he started talking about um, career stuff and how he wanted to fly me to New York and give me a role in Sarah Jessica Parker's new film. Um, he alternated between that and asking uh, me to give him a naked massage in the bed. He went to the bathroom, came back out of the bathroom in a robe, and asked me to give him a, him a massage. And then he excused himself to go to the bathroom. Um, and when he came back, he was just in a robe and, as I mentioned, buck naked. He opened the door to the room in an open robe. Then he got increasingly lascivious and, and rude and got out of the hot tub and um, I went to reach for my purse and I told him this is ridiculous and you know I'm leaving and he grabbed my arm. On the table he had a bunch of papers and he said listen these are contracts for my next three films I will sign them right now but I want you to have a threesome with me and my assistant. I said I wanted to go he left the room again and this time he came back fully naked and he was blocking the door. I'm five foot one, he's six foot two, he's much, much larger than me. He was blocking the only exit out. As he followed me, he told me he would give me three picture deal and he could get my movie made and, but you gotta stay and watch me masturbate. And he just kept, kept grabbing his penis and uh, fondling himself and finally I, you know, ran for the door. I thought he was kidding and he got angry at that point. He said, this is how this business works. You will never make it in this industry. This is how X, Y, and Z have got to where they are. He said everybody does it. He dropped the names of some other famous models that did it. I finally just broke away. I felt like it's better to run. Once I saw that he had finished whatever he, he needed to do, I said, uh, is that it? Can I go now? And I, I ran. He says, He'll, he'll let me past him if he gets dressed and takes me to a taxi himself, where he, he did, he took me to a taxi. And then he got in the cab with me. I got off at a bar downtown on, in the West Village and he sat there and watched me from the window of the taxi while I was in the bar for a good 20 minutes. I stopped really, really trying to pursue um, acting at that point because I mean I believed him he's was the most powerful man in Hollywood it isn't the only time that this has happened to me in this business and they will tell you to your face that if you fight them they'll get their lawyers on you what just happened to me and if I dare say anything mm. then what will happen I'm not even an actress in Hollywood but I thought one phone call from Harvey Weinstein I could have lost my job I could have been prevented from getting hired somewhere else if he wanted to do that this is their way of silencing women and, and that needs to end.